Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And good evening to everyone Okay, today I would like to talk about how airport security will affect the airline industry or airline economy uh, I think there will be a great topic for us today Okay, first of all, I would like to tell you about what is airport security. Airport security can be means to anything, anything to relating to airport. Airport security refers to technique or methods used in an attempt to protect the passengers, staff, planes used in the airport from accident, harm, or any crime or threat. Aviation security is a combination between human and material resources to safeguard civil aviation against unlawful interference. Unlawful interference can be like actually a terrorism, sabotage, trade to life, and a property communication or false trade or idea bombing. A large number of people pass through the airport every day. As you can see tonight, every Every day, there's a lot of people pass through the airport. This presents the potential targets for terrorism and other forms of crime because of the numbers of people located in one place. As you can see, airport security attempts to prevent any threats or potential dangerous situations from arising entering the country. It's, if airport security does not succeed, then the chance of any dangerous situation, illegal items or threats entering into an aircraft, country or airport are greatly reduced. As such, airport security reserve several purposes. One, to purpose the airport, to protect the airport and the country, to protect the airport and the country from any threatening events, to reassure the travelling public, and that they are safe to protect the country and their people. Okay, next we are going to uh, to talk about the current issue, current trend about the airport security. Okay, what, what are the current security trends in security in the airport sector? The new technologies are changing the security landscape. As we know, the airport security is based on the technologies, right? So, the number of airports are now running remote security screening. While least the operators tend to be based in the airport, there is no technology reason why they could not be set in a screening room in other location or even in another country. While least I mean, standoff screening systems such as Kinetic SPO slash NX have also begun to deploy for events. While these do not deliver the level of certainty required, for example, an airport sensor screening system, they provide the opportunity to consider new approaches to screening. To make the most of this technology, consideration needs to be given of the wider system and what is capable of delivering and at what cost. For example, how can we stand off screening, CCTV, behavior detection offices, and dogs be integrated to create an effective and efficient system? What level of effectiveness should the organization expect from that system? What scenario is it most effective in detecting? And what would an organization be expected to find in terms of footprints manpower if such a system was delivered in very sufficient I mean efficient way. Okay guys, next we're gonna bring up to see the future about the airport security and uh, how you can see the airport security sector progressing in the future. You can see the greater integration of the supplier and systems. However, these tend to be focused around technology and the integration different pieces of technology. Like I said, this must be connected to the technology. I hope that we will get to a point where we can focus on security outcomes rather than the physical inputs. We will be entering a challenging period as a machines and become a better threat detection as we will need to understand where the human is still needed and how we maintain their vigilance and engagement in systems that require less intervention. Finally, as we expect to see elements of security being provided as a remote service which will support security officers on the ground who will resolve any alarms. Okay, next we're going to see about the benefits of the airport security. First, it offers the traveler protection. As you can see, you can you have to submit your price for inspection no matter where you go, be it to the largest airport in the world or a tiny airport in the Philippines. You know just your bags that you have to get inspected you yourself 
have to be checked by body scanners and the security personnel while you may seem such a hassle to have removed item from your pockets or from your person you must always think that it is for your own good the 9-11 terror attacks have changed the way we travel it has changed the way security is conducted as well people want to be assured of their safety when inside the airport and during their flight Security checks make this possible as potential threat to safety and security are checked even before stepping foot, stepping your own foot on the plane. Okay, second, it is a source of employment. Airports are always busy and always in need of people who are willing to take on demanding shifts. Just think about how many flights depart and arrive at the port around the world. Then. Think about the number of people that can board a plane for a local or international flight. Put those two thoughts together and you have got thousands of people who need to go through security. Just making sure everything flows smoothly requires the assistance of more than just one person, of course. Put simply, there are employment opportunity at the airport. Okay, next, we're gonna see about the, how airport security affects the economy. First of all, it's about the perceptions of risk. For the study, the scientists conduct five surveys with a nationwide panel of 335 student participants over a six-week period. The participants were asked about their perception of terrorism risk, how they would respond emotionally to the attacks, their confidence in the government to handle the threat of the terrorism and their travel decisions. The airport checkpoint at the resort in a $17 billion decrease in a GDP due to lost air travel. According to the study published in the journal Risk Analysis, for the airline attack scenario, the research estimates a loss of $13 billion in GDP. Both scenarios assumes air traffic nationwide would be held briefly as a security measure by the vast majority of the impact come to the public sphere. Of flying and the effects on the supply chain. Airline will suffer the bulk the losses in the both cases. About $1.5 billion in gross revenue in the first year after the attack and $690 million in gross revenue the second year.